Thank you. People often think of musical improvisation as being mysterious and intimidating. That in order to play jazz or improvise music, you have to be one of a select few and dedicate your entire life to it, break up with your significant other, and either be the best or be absolutely worthless. But improvising on an instrument with your voice or with body percussion is something that everybody can do. It's about listening, communicating, and being willing to experiment. What you just observed were members of the Institute for Creative Music, Mike Kaupa, Danny Zeman, Mike Frederick, and myself, Chris Thiel, playing an improvised piece of music based off of a four-note pattern and variations. And we're going to teach it to you. We all started by playing these four notes at the same time. F sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and C sharp. We changed the way that we played this pattern by leaving notes out of the pattern, repeating notes, and rearranging the notes. We changed this pattern by speeding it up, changing the volume and articulation of the notes and the length of the notes. Most importantly, though, we listened to what everyone was doing in order to leave space and be able to respond to each other. And because listening and responding is such an important part of all kinds of improvisation, we'd really like to invite you to do this with us. So let's start this out. I'm going to start patting my legs to establish the beat or the pulse of the song. Everybody can join me. Try that. So you can either pat your legs, stomp your feet. We're establishing the groove of this piece. Will you keep that going? I'm going to remind us of our musical theme by singing it. After a couple times through, I'm going to count you in and see if you can sing along. Ba 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 ba. One, two, ready. Ba 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 ba. Thank you. That was a great, great rendition of that. If there's anybody who didn't feel comfortable singing, there's some body percussion that goes along with this. First, we clap, snap. Pat your legs and stomp. If we put that back in our original rhythm, it sounds like this. Join in when you feel comfortable. Clap, snap, pat, stomp. Clap, snap, pat, stomp. Try that. Clap, snap, pat, stomp. Anybody who was singing before, see if you can sing along. It goes like this. Ba, 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 ba. Thank you. And if you don't feel comfortable doing them both at the same time, you absolutely don't have to. You can just sing, you can just do the body percussion, but if you do both, that's great too. Okay, so now we know the musical theme that we're going to work with. Mike Kaupa and I are going to demonstrate a way to work with some variations on that theme using a technique called call and repeat. I'm going to sing a rearrangement of those notes. There might be some repetition. And Mike is going to repeat it right after me on his flugelhorn. So here's me. One, two, three, and. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Now you try it. See if you can do it right after me. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Thank you. Here's another variation. Two, three, four. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Thank you. Call and repeat. Let's try one more. One, two, three, me. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. You. One more time. Ba 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 ba. Thank you. So that's call and repeat. We've learned some variations on this theme. 
We're going to take it a step further, though, and get into what I was talking about earlier about responding. I'm going to go back to singing the original musical theme, those four notes in the same order, and Mike is going to respond with something that isn't that theme. He could use one of the variations that we worked on, he could choose completely new notes. As long as he's playing something that isn't exactly what I did, that's a response. All right, Mike, let's try this. Two, three, and... Ba, 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 ba. Now we're all gonna try this. Everybody from this side of the room over, you get to start with the theme. Everyone from here to this side, you get to start with the response. Now remember, it can be something from the variations we came up with. As long as it's something that isn't the theme, just experiment, try something. Use some body percussion, snaps. You might come up with a whole new language. All right, here's the theme. One, two, ready, theme. Ba, 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 respond. Nice. Now we switch. This side of the room gets your chance at the theme. You all get to respond. Here we go. Theme two, ready, go. Ba, ba, ba. Response. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Thank you so much for trying that. Give yourselves a round of applause. Practicing this sort of playful improvisation is something that is good for all of us. It, it's all about listening, communicating, teamwork, and being willing to try new things. And all of these skills translate to the rest of your lives. You can go practice this piece again at home, write a new one, and teach to someone else. We all want to be more creative. And playing with improvisation strips the inhibitions that keep us from achieving our full potential, whether that be in the arts, our jobs, or our relationships. Thank you.